Hello again and welcome to Intex Center online tutorial. I am back with the third part of the sample uh, paper one at level one. My name is Aida and I am one of the maths tutor at, tutors at Intex Center. Therefore, I'll be guiding you through the functional skills uh, level one um, tutorial. To begin with, please know that this video is made for educational purposes only for Intex Center customers and learners. Uh, in no way is this affiliated with City and Guilds and we cannot guarantee that the answers are 100% correct. Um, please remember to visit our website intechcenter.com in order to find more information about the funded courses um, which are right here. Now if you click on that you will find information about English, Maths, IT and employability. If you are not eligible, you can move on to the private course. You have the option to do the private uh, course where uh, you can also um, do the learning and sit the exam. Um, as for the actual exam uh, revision, you can find it right here. We have exam preparation. Please um, make sure you are aware of what you're supposed to do before sitting the exam, such as uh, attempting the navigation tutorial as it will be useful for you in the actual exam um, in order to use the tools given. Um, I will continue with the sample paper one at level one. So please um, go ahead with me and uh, have a look at this. As for introduction in the section three, uh, the third scenario is uh, telling us that the task is about testing digital cameras. We, uh, you ask the testers to give a score to four digital cameras for three features, picture quality, how long the battery lasts, and how easy it is to use. Question one has four marks. Uh, these are the scores for how easy it is to use. We have um, four different cameras. We have a number of testers on it, and we have the scores uh, next to it. Now the question wants us to find out the mean score for each camera uh, for how easy it is to use. We have to complete the table below. We have to find the mean for hex. So we'll have to uh, start the addition, adding all the numbers up. 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 10 plus 10 plus 7 which will give us a total of let's find the calculator we have 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 13 7 with 6 plus 12 5 with 7 plus 14 8 plus 6 plus 14 10 plus 4 plus 17 and we have a total of 99 then as you know the formula is asking you to divide the total amount of um, values by how many times um, how many values you have so 99 divided by 15 which is 6.6. .6. So this is our first answer, 6.6. .6. Uh, this is for hex. The next one will be Apollo X, SX, and we have A plus 9, 17, plus um, 9 with 7, 16, plus again 16, plus 14, plus 7 with 8, 15, plus 18. This is easier for us to calculate on the calculator. Plus 16, plus 16, plus 14, plus 15, plus 18. It will be 96 equals to 96. Then again, the total we divided by how many values there are, which is 12. So 96 divided by 12, we get 8 as the mean score for Apollo X. The next one is COM XL 
and we have 14 plus 11 plus 12 plus 10 plus 15 and the total will be 62 62 divided by 10 it will give us 6.2 Okay, and the last one we have Japa C4 and we have a 12 plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus uh, 13 plus 7 and our total will be 60. 60 divided by 12 total number of values 60 divided by 12, it should give us 5. And we have a 5 right there. So we are finished with question 1. Make sure you know the formula for the mean. Don't attempt the question if you're not ready for it. Uh, make sure you're aware of these um, formulas. Question 2 has two marks. Choose one of the calculations in question 1 to show a check. So as we've done in the first scenario, this will be a reverse calculation and we will go ahead with the last calculation 5 times 12 equals to 60 this is the last calculation we have make sure you have it in the show of working uh, otherwise you won't get points if you do it if you have it on a piece of paper okay now we have to draw a chart to show uh, the means for how easy it is to use this uh, we can do a bar chart. This is the most suitable one. Uh, a line graph wouldn't work, a pie chart wouldn't work, nor would a table. So uh, let's do, it's four cameras, so we need four bars. Then we go ahead and we edit the axis. We start with the maximum value, which is the eight that we have for Apollo uh, SX. Now, numbers of, of divisions, let's first start with show numbers, otherwise there will be no numbers shown on the left. And uh, let's break it down uh, as much as we think is suitable to show these values. We could do this, we have a 6.6, .6. will be a bit higher, let's see if we can show that. Okay, this I think would be even better. And let's click OK. Now we have to show hex, which is 6.6, .6, so it's just above 6.5. And then we have Apollo, which is 8, so we'll go all the way up. Uh, the next one will be 6.2, so we'll be under 6.5 and just above 6.6, .6, maybe there. And then we have uh, 5 for Japa C. Okay, I think that'll be it, the third box, a uh, tiny bit higher, that's it. So we can add key, whichever you think it's faster for you, please use either this key or the text tool. Uh, I will show both and then you can decide by yourself which one is more suitable uh, for yourself. Uh, they're asking us to show the four averages of the cameras. We will have four items. We'll edit the first one with the name hex 11 and we'll put the color um, green. We apply. Then we go with the next one which is Apollo Apollo SX and we'll put uh, green again then we have the next one cam xl and we can put it as um, yellow any color you like the next one will be japa c4 and we can put it um, orange why not and then we click ok we go to uh, color bars, we go on green, it represents hex 11. 
we go on Apollo, it represents the light green, uh, yellow, Cam XL, and Japa C orange. So this is one way of doing it. Another way would be the text bar uh, color, the text bar, sorry, where you would put the name at the top. You don't have to worry about coloring the bars in either. So we have hex 11, then the next one would be Apollo SX, the next one would be Cam XL, and the last one will be Japa C4. So either way is correct. Um, then you can click next. Question 4. The table shows the, res the results of the camera test. Uh, we have to complete the table with the mean scores from question 1. How easy it is to use. The order of the cameras using the means for how long the batteries last and how easy it is to use. As this is the first one, we'll start with the order of how long the batteries last. Um, this is the highest out of the whole, so we'll put it uh, first. Uh, six. Let's see, we'll do 6.9 because it will be the second. Third will be the 6 for Apollo X. And fourth will be Cam X. Now, the means, if I remember correctly, it was 6.6 .6 for Hex, 8 for Apollo, 6.2 for Cam XL, and 5 for Japa. Make sure you take note of this so that you don't have to go back and forth in the exam as it will waste time. Uh, order, we have first for Apollo, second for Hex, third for Cam XL, and fourth for Japa. Now this question is done as well. This was two marks and uh, is very easy to get. Question 5 has three marks and is telling us that the shop stocks all four cameras. A customer wants a camera that has good picture quality, is easy to use, weights less than one kilogram and costs less than 500 pounds. What is the probability, um, in brackish chance, that the customer will find the camera she wants in the shop? And we have to explain. So first, uh, let's go by... Um, Elimination, let's take away the cameras that don't meet the customer's criteria. So we'll click on I to see what information they gave us. We know that hex is 529, so it doesn't uh, meet the criteria of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, less than 500 pounds. So this is out and then we have three more to compare with. Let's move this to the left now. It says that it weights less than a kilogram. So, as I said, hex is out, so we don't look at it. Also, cam XL is out of the picture because uh, it's over one kilogram. So we are left with Apollo X and Japa C4. Let's put this down so that we don't have to open the window uh, constantly. So we have Apollo SX. It ha the cost is 469.99. We have weight 950 and Japa C4, the cost is 279.99 and the weight is of 890 grams. Let's close this. Maybe let's get rid of these brackets and put the grams. Okay. Um, next that we have to make sure that the camera has, is qualifying. It says that the customer wants a camera that has good picture quality. So let's look at picture quality. The best picture quality is Apollo X is on the first place so we can put here best picture 
quality first and uh, Apollo X is sorry Japa C has a 4.9 so very low is the fourth and as for uh, how easy to use um, again Apollo X is the first and Japa C4 is the fourth so Apollo X is the most likely to uh, meet the customers criteria uh, we have easy to use first again and that's about it so we can say to the customer that it's certain they will find a camera that they will need we can put here Apollo SX has all the um, Apollo X meets all of the criteria set by the customer and this covers the point that we were talking about so Apollo X has everything that the customer needs now this was the last question um, now the sample paper is finished please make sure you attempt all of the question in this manner do them uh, bit by bit and make sure you know your formulas before you go ahead and attempt the sample paper um, I hope uh, you understand the questions and how they were explained good luck with the actual exam um, and hopefully you'll pass it in your first uh, your first attempt uh, take it bye bye